Hello, 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 hello. It is Happy Theme Thursday Day. Yay! And it's Thursday and I am here. And I am going to be changing um, Jacob and Rachel really quick on camera and then have a few little babies to show you. This week's theme is dinosaurs, which we will be putting on Jacob right here and purple for lupus and fibromyalgia awareness which we will be putting on rachel and i am wearing purple too i didn't realize it until just well i didn't realize i was wearing purple but anyway i'm wearing purple my shirt says my favorite people call me grandma so Anyway, here we are. I'm going to see if I can get him a little closer to you. Are you seeing him okay? There we go. Alrighty, so this is our little Jacob. A little baldy. Is that sweet baldy? Oh, did you know if you rub a bald head, it's good luck? I don't really know that. I just said made that up. <laughs> So how have y'all been? I haven't seen you since what? Oh, yesterday. Y'all, I'm just tickled pink with myself for getting two videos in in one day. So I'm going to try to do this quickly. So my video is not too terribly long. As I know, you all are busy, busy people. And we all have a lot of videos to watch. And uh, yeah, so I'm trying not to make my videos too terribly long but you know what I am not a woman of few words I really am not and I tend to talk a lot boop boop I'm not sure how good this is for changing babies in but we're gonna work with it so this is a little grumpy sculpt he says he's grumpy but he's not grumpy him just chunky he's not grumpy he's just a chunk <laughs> Oh my gosh. So, did you guys happen to see on Sunday night the uh, Blood Moon Lunar Eclipse? <laughs> if you didn't, you missed something spectacular. But, have no fear because we put the our telescope out and um, we took some pictures through the telescope. It was really strange, y'all. We got the got the moon in, into the view of the the mic the microscope. Listen to me, the telescope. So then I took my phone and just put it on the lens. <laughs> we took some pictures. Now they're not fantastic pictures, but you do kind of get a general idea of what was going on. So in case you missed the blood moon lunar eclipse. Here are a few snapshots that we took. Cool, huh? So, we had that. And, uh, let's see, what else? You know, it's so weird because I think of all these things that I want to share with y'all and tell y'all, you know, and then I totally forget. I get on camera and I just totally, totally forget. Poor little old Jacob, I'm just throwing him all over the place. I just throw him all over the place. But said so we wanted to participate this week since we had the outfits, right, baby? Right? So, do y'all want to hear a little story? This actually, I saw this little thing on 
the internet, which totally reminded me of my grandson, Emerson, who, by the way, he's the little one, he's my little grandson, the 11-year-old, soon to be 12. There he is. Then my little pumpkin, all dressed up in his little dinosaur outfit. So we'll put him right back there. And you want to put your hat, let's put this hat back on. It's blue. You got blue in your outfit there. Gotta keep your little boggin, your little noggin there, I guess. It's not boggin. Warm. All right, you're crawling out of your... <laughs> My granddaughter does that. You put these little sleepers on and she starts crawling around. She crawls right out of the feet of them. Then it got these things flapping around behind her. She's trying to call. All right, so there is sweet little Jacob. She just the cutest thing. She just the cutest little thing. So we are going to get her dress. These are some shoes I just took off of Sophie, I think. So we're going to get this one dress. So anyway, let me tell you this little story about Emerson. Emerson is my grandson that marches to the beat of a different drum. He is a spectacular little boy. Um, really is just his own, has his own mind. He's the one that asked for a tuxedo for Christmas, which he loves. And he had another band concert. Was it Tuesday? We went to a band concert with Gabriel, who is our 14-year-old. He plays sax. And um, Emerson is our 11-year-old, and he plays trombone. So, uh, yeah, we went to see them play. Uh, and, uh, I don't have a good picture of uh, Emerson with his trombone. I have one that's blurry that he was taking a selfie with him and his friend. I kind of got it from a distance. And, but I do have him after his concert because he plays, he played first and then his brother played. So I have him after his concert kind of chillaxing. Come on, girl, get this out. But anyway, I still haven't told you this story, have I? <laughs> so this is how Emerson's mind works. He lost, this has been <clears throat> several years ago, I guess. <clears throat> he lost a tooth. But he didn't tell anybody. And he put his tooth under his pillow for three nights and no money. Tooth was still there, no money. So then he tells his parents, I lost a tooth. And they said, good, put it under your pillow, blah, blah, blah. So he put it under his pillow and lo and behold, the next day he had money. <laughs> So he, on his own, systematically proved <laughs> uh, the non-existence of the Tooth Fairy. I'll tell you what. <laughs> he is such a little stinker. He is such a stinkwad. Oh, my goodness. But you got to love it. He's just a precious, precious boy. Just a precious boy. I love him to death. Uh, he is different. His brain just works differently. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So I thought y'all might like to hear that little story. Uh, little story of my little stinkwad grandson, Emerson. So, yeah. All right, I just about have Rachel dressed here. It's just cute in that little onesie, doesn't she? I hope y'all are seeing her. I hadn't even been checking. John not going to be either. I just chunk a monk. I just a chunk of monk preemie. There we go. So we're gonna leave her little feet bare. We're gonna leave her little feet bare. 
and she's doing purple for lupus and fibromyalgia awareness there she goes there she goes and there is my little Rachel so there we go little barefoot Rachel you want a hat on you too baby let's see if we got a little hat for you nope yeah, pink and purple go together, don't they? There we go. Gotta keep those little head warm. There we go. All right. So there is Rachel doing purple and Jacob is doing dinosaurs. But you know me. I couldn't stop there. So let's go see what everybody else is doing. So here's my little chunk of monk, Luke. Or John Luke, and he's doing dinosaurs. He's got a big old dinosaur <laughs> on his shirt. He's got a black shirt and an aqua dinosaur. Looks like a brontosaurus, but it's got plates on it like a stegosaurus, but it's got the neck on it like a brontosaur. So I'm not sure what that is. <laughs> it's a dinosaur. And he's got little aqua pants and his little bare feet. So there is ba -ba -ba -bum, John Luke. Next we have Aiden who is wanting to go outside, but he has no clothes on. <laughs> he refused to wear clothes today, but he does have on his dinosaur diaper. So I guess you can uh, participate in that, Aiden. And we will go outside after you get some clothes on. We're silly under goose. shade here because it is very hot outside and Kai is a little upset because he's been trying to call Joseph and I think Joseph has gone night night and he can't get a hold of him. <laughs> Either that or the poor cell service out here, huh Kai? Anyway, Kai's doing dinosaurs. He's got a navy blue shirt with dinosaurs all over it. I guess you can see them. I don't know. It's kind of hard to yeah, anyway, take my word for it. There's dinosaurs all over that. And he's wearing white shorts with little suspenders and his little blue shoes. And over here we got John David, who's a little upset because Kai is upset. And he is also doing dinosaurs. He's got no blue shorts, white shirt with dinosaurs all over it, and his little white walkers. And he's being comforted by his sister, Sophie. And Sophie Kate is also doing dinosaurs. So even girls can do dinosaurs now. She's got dinosaurs all over her pretty little white romper. And she's got her bare feet going on because they're just so cute. So thank you, Sophie, for trying to comfort your brother, David. So sweet. Kai's okay. We'll try again tomorrow. Now these two totally don't care that it's sunshiny and bright out here because they were in their glasses. So you saw a sweet little Johanna yesterday wearing her purple in uh, Awareness for Lupus and Fibromyalgia. She even has on purple sunglasses. And her sister Madeline, who's busy trying to check out this plant here, she's also wearing purple sunglasses purple bows on her braids and she has on a multicolored striped dress that has purple stripes in it and so these two girls are just enjoying the sunshine and I hope you can see them because my screen is absolutely black <laughs> and last but not least I'm sitting here holding my beautiful little Julia Lee she is such a sweet, sweet, sweet little baby. And she has got a beautiful floral dress with purple flowers and pink flowers all over the white background. And it's also got silver outlined flowers in it. And she has on her little pink shoes that has little purple flowers on it right there. Sorry she's so close, but she's sitting in my lap. <laughs> And uh, the screen is totally black, so I have no idea if you've even seen her. So anyway, that's our theme Thursday. I hope you enjoyed it. I love you all. I'll see you real soon. Bye-bye.